from Georgia is actually back in his district listening to the program. I want to bring both of them on uh, together if we can. Uh, Congressman Good, Congressman Clyde, hope you're doing well. Good afternoon, Todd. Do we got my friend? I mean, do we got my friend Andrew Clyde on the line? Yes, we certainly do. We do, Bob. It's great. Great to be with you and How's Todd. my brother from Georgia? <laughs> doing well. It's like it's hey. like a family reunion here, guys. It is, Andrew. I just told my team to sign me on to your letter to the veteran, uh, to the Secretary of the Veteran Affairs. Challenge him for the lies he's telling to our veterans about the bill we just passed out of the House to put us on a path to fiscal responsibility. Great job, Andrew. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate that. And Todd, I was listening to you and uh, heard uh, my staff just told me that Director CDC Director Walensky just resigned, and that is phenomenal. That goes back to a, a um, appropriations hearing we had last month where she lied to us, and we sent a letter to the uh, Select Committee on the Coronavirus Pandemic asking them to uh, uh, investigate the truthfulness of her testimony and to hold her accountable uh, when she said um, vaccinated people do not carry the virus and they don't get sick. And I asked her if that previous statement of hers back in March of 2021 was correct. And she said at the time it was, and that is a flat out lie. But we sent that letter in and um, I'm, I'm hoping that helped uh, uh, her realize that she needs to resign. And, and Congressman Good, I'd like to get your reaction as well. Uh, Walensky just stepping down, and I would say in the past hour or so. Well, that's great news. Andrew is breaking this news for me. I had not heard it previously. Great work, Andrew. And the good news, too, is the statute of limitations on accountability for these officials to be investigated and held accountable by Congress does not expire. She can resign, but she can't run from what she did to the country and her part in lying to the country, deceiving the country about the risk of the virus, the veracity of the vaccine, being part of the shutdowns and the lockdowns and the deception about the veracity of masks. And, uh, she needs to be held accountable. Uh, she abused the power of her position. And uh, it's good good folks on our oversight committee like Andrew holding her accountable. You know, Congressman Good, um, just a few moments ago, President uh, Biden uh, took a few uh, Q&A, did a few Q&A uh, moments with the media, and he said that he was holding a major press conference this afternoon. Then the White House comes out and immediately backtracks and said there's been absolutely no change to the president's schedule. Uh, I'm just curious, how how concerned are you, and are there legitimate concerns about the president's capabilities? Well, I think all of us can and easily recognize that he's diminished, uh, he's fading, he's slipping, he's struggling. He can't remember that he was in Ireland. He can't remember how many grandkids that he has, let alone the one that he won't recognize. He doesn't know which direction to go to get off of the stage. He shakes hands with the air. He gets befuddled and confused. However, I'm primarily concerned about his harmful policies. If you had set out two and a half years ago to ruin the country, what would you have done differently than spend us into bankruptcy, than to weaken our military, diminish our stature on the world stage, compromise to surrender American energy independence, open the borders up to millions of illegal aliens to invade. What would you have done differently? So I do believe he is all in on the policies and the harm and how he is trying intentionally to ruin the country, and that's what I'm primarily concerned about. You know, Congressman Clyde, we're six days out from uh, Title 42 expiring, and we're already starting to see uh, people camping out on the other side of the border, just waiting to make that huge surge. I is that a big deal for people back in your congressional district in Georgia? Uh, Todd, it certainly is a big deal, because what we have seen when we have an open southern border is that all states become a border state. And we have seen it with the drugs coming in across the fentanyl on 14,000 pounds of it come across uh, last year. I mean, this is just un completely unacceptable. You will never have a secure country if you don't have a secure border. Title 42 is part of it. But, you know, if the president would only just obey the law and enforce the law, then we would have a secure border. But him through Secretary Mayorkas, uh, it, he is not doing that. That is not his policy and it's only going to further erode uh, the security of our nation. And uh, it's a disgrace. President Biden has to be held accountable for it. Honestly, we need to impeach Mayorkas over it. 
And um, uh, t- t- having Title 42 go away is a very, very big deal. Yeah, and Congressman Good, I mean, we were running the numbers, and that's they're expecting roughly 400,000 people a month to be coming across that border. Um, by the end of the Biden presidency, you could have upwards of, of 12, 13 million illegals living in in this nation can, can we sustain that i mean we we're, we're so far in debt as a country right now uh you look at the jobs numbers which it looks like the biden administration significantly fudged over the past month or so um how big of an impact is this going to have on us i think you can argue that among the many crises existential threats that have been created by this administration's policies that the border is the worst of all crises it's an economic security issue, it's a health security issue, it's an education issue, but it's also, most of all, a national security issue. Untold harm has been done if we seal the border today, because while they have let in, welcomed in, processed in, every resource they've gotten is to get as many illegals in the country as quickly as possible, some five and a half million in just over two years that they've released in the interior of the country, there's the one and a half million criminal terrorist gotaways who, as Andrew said, trafficking drugs and children and sex trafficking, and they have the criminal backgrounds, the terrorist backgrounds, who don't want free education, free health care, free social services, uh, free travel, free housing. And these are the ones who we have no idea why they're here, what intentional harm they, can, they will commit. And he's done irreparable harm to the country. If we sealed the border today, we should, as Andrew said, we're both on impeachment articles for Mayorkas, but we also should impeach Biden and not allow him. To, I think it's going to be $15 million by the time he's done if, we don't, uh, if we're not successful in somehow getting him to reverse course on these policies. All right. Well, uh, gentlemen, uh, we're going to have to leave it there. And uh, uh, Congressman Good, we appreciate you playing along here. And Congressman Clyde, thanks for listening to the show out there in, in the district. Well, thank you, Todd. Great to be with you as always. And to my friend, Bob Good, phenomenal member of Congress as well. Thank you for all your hard work, too, Bob. Same as you. Uh, Andrew is one of the courageous conservative warriors, and he demonstrates it every day up there. So see you soon. Georgia and Congressman Bob Good from Virginia. So you never know who's listening to the program out there. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we've got Daryl in Oregon wanting to weigh in. Also, William in North Carolina. Lines are open, 844 844- 747-8868. That is a toll-free telephone number. That's 844-747-8868. By the way, uh, you heard those gentlemen on the Patriot Mobile Newsmaker line. Man, do we love our friends at Patriot Mobile, America's only Christian conservative wireless carrier. And they have been partners with us, and we just love those folks. We have had so many emails from people saying, Todd, I wasn't sure about dropping AT&T or Verizon, but we did it. And we've never been happier. And I love hearing those great stories. So we would love for you to to consider joining the good people at Patriot Mobile for your wireless carrier service. Uh, Go to PatriotMobile.com slash Todd. That's PatriotMobile.com slash Todd. They have a plan to fit any budget. And if you're a veteran or a first responder, they're going to provide you with some great, great discounts. Now, if you use my promo code, Todd, they're going to give you free premier activation and a free gift. PatriotMobile.com slash Todd. We'll be right back. Can't hear the whole show? Don't worry.